All right, I have a wonderful little analogy for you that I think is going to help. Um, every single month in the Half Size Me community, we do a live Zoom meeting with the maintainers. So all these maintainers, people who have lost various amounts of weight and are keeping it off, we get together to brainstorm what's working for us, what's not working for us, to celebrate and to share different thoughts. And we had a great discussion on this idea of not feeling motivated, having gained some weight back, and how to get back to you know the losing again, to get it back off. And we had had a previous month where one of the members was like two pounds up, and she was desperately trying to get it back off. Every day she woke up with the intentions of losing the weight, and by midday to evening, she was fizzling out and really just not mentally doing well with the goal. So I gave her permission for a whole month. I said, hey, take the whole month and maintain this new current weight. So yes, you're two or so pounds over your screen weight, make it a goal to maintain. She was very reluctant to do this, but she finally was like, okay, I will give that a try. So she came back the next month in our most recent Zoom meeting and she said, you know what's interesting, Heather? She says, about two weeks in, I got the motivation back to lose the weight. And we ended up getting on, on this example of weight loss being like waiting for a wave. You're a surfer, you're in the ocean, and you're waiting for a wave to come back and bring you back to shore, right? So she said what it was is finally the wave came she got on the wave and she coasted all the way back and she got her weight back down but she took two weeks of just maintaining like we had talked about in the previous meeting and what i took from this was and let's just stick with the surfing analogy okay we're all in the ocean we're holding on to our surfboards we're that's if you've lost weight you're maintaining the surfboard right you're keeping it with you and what typically happens is when people's weight go up, they feel frantic, they panic. Well, what's one of the worst things you can do when you're in the ocean with tides and crashing of waves? It's to panic, right? Because what happens is you're flailing around looking for the next wave to bring you back to shore. The panic and the, and the kicking and the paddling to find a, a, a wave is wearing you out. It's mentally draining, it's physically draining. And so even when you're presented with the wave, you may not have the energy or the motivation to bring it back to shore. The other thing I see is when people are flailing around in the ocean and they're panicking, they often lose their grip on their surfboard, AKA maintaining their weight. They're so frantic to get back to shore that they lose their grip on the one thing that will bring them back. They don't maintain their surfboard. They don't keep it with them. They're so busy trying to find the wave to ride back to shore to get back that they actually exhaust themselves and they lose their grip on their board. This is why I say all too often, yes, you may be at a higher weight than what you would desire, but it's better for you to calm down, hold on to your surfboard, stay where you are intentionally and then when the wave comes back like it did for our maintainer you get up on the board and you ride it back it will come back but if you're flailing around in the ocean and you can't you're, you're losing energy you're losing your ability to even hold on to the board you have you're going to end up having a really hard time getting back to shore right if getting back to shore represents getting back to your goal so what I want to encourage you is let's take this visual, okay, and let's apply it. So the next time you see your weight creeping up, I want you to just picture yourself calmly staying where you are intentionally, not panicking, not flailing around, holding onto your surfboard, and then giving yourself periods of time where that's all you do. So you have to keep in mind too, there's also a very strong mental component to this I would think everyone would know this by now, but I think it's important to mention that if you're not mentally strong, you're gonna really struggle. And so where, where this comes into play is giving yourself the permission to just sit there and hold on to your board in the middle of the ocean 
means you take pressure off yourself. Whereas every single day, if you wake up and say, got to get back to shore, got to get back to shore, I'm going to kick and I'm going to get to this wave and it's going to happen today. And you don't, it's like, oh God, I didn't do it again. It's this constant, you're getting beat against the rocks idea versus you're just sitting there, just bobbing up and down, waiting for the wave, relaxing into it. And that's what I want you to picture in your head. And what I told her was, I think because she gave herself permission to not wake up every day with the goal being, I must get back to my goal weight. I can just sit here at the slightly higher weight. It actually gave her a mental break to where she could recharge for a few weeks. And then when that wave came, which it will, motivation ebbs and flows, you're not gonna be perpetually motivated. We've had these conversations in multiple videos, right? You're not gonna be perpetually motivated. You're gonna have moments of extreme motivation and you're gonna have places where you're like, eh, <laughs> don't really care, not feeling it today, just gonna go through the motions, right? Um, and then when that motivation came back to her, when she felt, like all things were working in, in concert to getting her back to shore, she actually had the ability to jump back on. So please do not underestimate the uh, strength in giving yourself permission to mentally take a break from the goal of losing weight. Giving yourself permission to maintain where you currently are intentionally and to drop the goal of weight loss for a few weeks can actually be extremely therapeutic mentally. So just wanna throw that in there. So what's the takeaways from today? One, you're gonna have periods of low motivation, whether you're losing or maintaining. Two, when your weight does creep up, which it will happen from time to time, that's just part of the process, you may have to choose if you're seeing every day you're starting out strong but you're not finishing you may need to just hold on to your surfboard in the ocean bob up and down until the next wave comes but actively maintain where you are make sure that you're keeping your weight as stable as you can then when the next wave comes you catch it and you ride it back into shore whether that's two months two weeks six months doesn't matter, better for you to maintain than to be flailing around in the ocean, lose your grip on your board and sink. <laughs> All right, I hope this video helps. Please like and subscribe to me on YouTube. And if you have any other questions, please let me know. I would love to help you. All right, take care.